All Souls has been a church that has stood as an empty hulk in this community for 25 years. People have walked past this building, grown up in this area, and never been inside it. Because the church has been empty for so long, there is possibly a sense that this building has no relevance to the local community. By opening up the doors, we're hoping an area of relative deprivation will actually start to feel that it belongs to them again and has a use for them. On either side of the aisle will be two new buildings, one of which on, on this side is going to be three storeys high. Oh, really? And you'll be able to walk around it. And on this side there'll be another building which is elevated on legs. This is quite unique, having a building within an existing outside structure. And we're quite looking forward to when it's finished. This building is a great example of how a heritage building can make a major contribution to the skills agenda, to helping young people get a better future, and also putting money into the local economy. This is the second largest single investment the Church's Conservation Trust itself has made. We put nearly 500,000 pounds into this. And we believe that this building is going to make a permanent contribution to the well-being of this community. One of the best things as well about this project is the fact that we're using this building to build skills amongst young people. Thanks to the Heritage Training Group, we're going to be training young people in conservation skills, skills which they can then take with them for the rest of their lives and use to benefit other people. It's now the start of a very long journey. I've been born and bred within this community. I smelt the bread for Warburton's, smelt the chapatis in the home as well. There hasn't ever been a community facility that actually brings people together in the heart of Crompton. Repair works here include a complete re-roofing, brick and stonework repair, complete re-leading of all the plain glazed windows and some plaster repairs, redecoration and some cleaning of ceiling and internal timbers. And we have six burst replacements, three who are involved in the masonry side, two who are doing carpentry roofing and one who is doing glazing. Yeah, that's nice. yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you, know what I, you know what I said to you? This is your chance now, it's up yeah. to you. I was looking for people, not that I had any experience, but you, you could see they, need, they wanted this and they needed this because this was their chance. After I left college, I found it quite difficult to come across a job and then I seen this ad in the paper for store masonry. I thought I might as well give it a shot and a week later I got the interview. Right lads, all the ones Mark text. Those are the only ones you're taking out, nothing else. Anything else you need to take out, you come and see me. My mentor is James. He, he shows me what I need to be doing and what I need to be getting on with. Always protecting the bricks around it, yeah? I'm James Beddo. We're making sure that the apprentices get the, the proper and adequate training. The aspects of my trade date back a long time and it's my responsibility and privilege to pass these skills on, if you like. And take your corners, work from a loose end and work back. Not many colleges provide a course or anything like this, so it just gives you a different experience than what others have had. Nibble that off. I've enjoyed my time here as well. Hopefully I'll get kept on and knock a few more brick out, you know, part of the team. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Stephen Barlow. Before starting, I was unemployed, uh, applying for jobs, but uh, basically not getting anywhere with them. When I was accepted, I was very happy because it was the first good offer I'd had in a long time. Mainly, I've been working in the workshop, restoring the windows, cleaning the glass, stripping the lead, cementing, all that sort of thing. I'm learning something new and I'm, I'm working again, which, you know, I, I haven't done for a while. And it's, uh, it's good back to get back in the swing of it and, and hopefully this is going to lead to something in the future. Miss 
specialism in the bursary is roofing and joinery. We're now working with the joiners who are on site, finding parts of the roof which need to be replaced. So this is brown rot, or what everybody calls dry, dry rot. rot. This is the kind of decay which everybody is going to end up repairing. repairing yeah. well, I applied for this because uh, I felt like making a change in career, something which is completely different than what I was doing before. The best legacy of this job is that in 20 years' time, there's somebody with a van parked out in this street somewhere that says stonemason. And he got that, he became a stonemason because he worked on this project.